In the heart of Manhattan, a derailment on the New York Central tracks brought momentary terror to 168 aboard and snarled train service for some 75,000 commuters. No one was injured. The car stayed upright, narrowly missing a fall from the 35-foot high viaduct. Passengers on the outbound local waited nearly an hour and a half aboard the wreck, which was reportedly caused when a driving motor fell to the track, catching a switch point. Hundreds of feet of track were ripped up. The third rail shorted as the train buckled and dragged to a stop. Engineer Edward Lynch couldn't use his brakes for fear the plunging train would go over. After cable fires caused by the shorted third rail were extinguished, passengers transferred to another train to leave the scene of near disaster. It was the third consecutive day on which traffic was delayed by accidents. Low point in a black week for long-suffering commuters. San Francisco says, Welcome Lions, as one of the biggest parades held in the city in years marks the opening of the 40th annual convention of Lions International. 40,000 members of the organization are here from all parts of the world, and the various state and national units compete for honors with colorful floats generously sprinkled with pretty gals. Bird's eye view of Lions on Parade all San Francisco turns out to bid them welcome. German Youth Parade in Frankfurt in a torchlight ceremony that recalls the mass demonstrations of Hitler's 